Hello one, and welcome for a new video. Uh, last time we talked about uh, building your own cannon, and I thought that why don't we just go straight into auto cannons by now? And I'm sorry about the background noise. Uh, I have some guests over that's also playing, but um, let's just go straight over to it. So we're gonna start with a very 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 easy concept of a uh, auto sand compressor, and I'm not gonna go in with the two pistons uh, to make it faster and stuff like that. I'm gonna use the exact same as you do on my uh, auto cannon that is kind of slow, but it is still very very nice uh, But first of all we need to figure out how much set we want to stack so each piston here uh, Can go up like this oh, Sorry about that. There you go, and when it goes up like this we go up one sand So one piston is one sand So as as far as we go up it is how much it is so here's five right here one two three four five all right so five there you go, 5, 10, 15, oh, 15 20, 25, alright, that should be gushy, and then we can do the same on the other side, there you go, there you go, and now we just build them up like this, and I am going to do that real quick, here we go, here is these, and I put some obsidian behind so it can't really get moved, and now that we got that, we uh, we kind of have to move this up actually because we won't really be able to. Oh, that was weird. Let's try that again. There you go. All right, that's better. There you go. Right, let's go up ten again. And let's just set zero. Alright, so now we have it further up, we can actually go starting on here, so we want it to fall two blocks, and then is where the piston goes, and let's just do it like this, so we have the pistons like that, and then we can do the glass, which is right here, of course we can take this one down again, don't need that. Now we've got that, we can start by making glass right here, this is kind of what the platform is going to be. And then we're gonna need the platform for the sand. Oh, let me just think here. Uh, oh, kind of bang out. There you go. That's my bad. Uh, we're gonna put cobblestone underneath, and then the cobwebs is gonna go on this one right here, like this. No, wait, wait. Sorry, that's my bad. Go one down. Sorry. There you go. Now and then the sand will of course push it. It will push it into this right here and that is kind of where we want want our little barrel or whatever we say uh, so that's gonna be something like this there you go all right actually right, so we can go one more in what am I doing guys what am I doing there we go all right and now you can push it in like that then we're gonna need some TNT as well, and you go one under one block right here. This one goes up for the ladder. Oh, that's my bad. There you go. And the right here is where the TNT goes. So let's just make sure that's right. Yes, it is. And then we can make the TNT go right here. And we can go like, let's just go a good amount up. Let's go right here. And then we can put a glass right here. Perfect. Awesome. Let's break that for now. Now that we got that, we got the TNT coming in from here, and if we're gonna push the sand out, and of course we're gonna have the same over here, do something like that. Uh, we can do the same over here. There you go. And it's up to you if you want to go further, so like it's gonna uh, gonna have a booster right here, and then have another booster go right here it's it's really up to you what you want to do well, let me just do this quick so you guys understand it so we're gonna have TNT here and then the TNT gets pushed here and then this TNT is gonna push it this way so it kind of realigns the sand but I, I don't like using that I'm, I'm fine with using it like this um, but let's just go ahead and make some cobwebs there you go oh, that's maybe a bit too much um, there perfect Alright, so uh, I'll suggest you guys use slaps here, just so you don't, like right here at the beginning here, so you guys don't fuck up. 
but all in all, this is kind of what a sand, uh, automatic sand compressor looks like. Uh, this one will stack what uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten. Uh, that will stack fifty sand, which we really don't need at this. So we can actually go uh, even less with like a, we can use a twenty stack or whatever. Uh, but this is kind of the concept that counts here. Not really how big it is. You can of course go as big as you want, but if you extend over six, then you're gonna need uh, TNT, as I have in one of my videos here. But uh, let's just go ahead and make a platform right here that looks like this. Right here, we need platforms as well. Oops, let's fill this in actually. Just so it looks a little bit more cool. Uh, there you go. Just so it looks like a platform, you know. But after that, I'm not sure if you can set one right here because I'm not gonna detect that one down there. So you're gonna start with one right here, then you're gonna go right here because that one right here is gonna detect that one and that one. This one is gonna do that one and that one, and then the next one you're gonna have right here is gonna detect that one. All right. I hope that makes a little bit sense. And of course, you can do you can redstone this up as you want, but I kind of want to not have like a staircase down that like you're not gonna touch it at any point it's not whether you have to configure it something so let's just do this and then you can go ahead and make a staircase on the side of it or you can do like I do and just simply just do like oops like this put whetstone repeater whetstone that's it that's all you need uh, let's do that again here there you go that's uh, and then you can kind of change it over time. So right now this one is gonna go right here. There you go. And then of course the next one is gonna be right here. And the next one is gonna be right there. There you go. And then just watch it on up. And then do the exact same on this side. And when we do this, we will be able to push all the pistons at one time. Oops. And that's kind of what we want here. So go like that. Perfect. I'm pretty sure that's pretty sure that's all we need for this sand here to fall down. Uh, now we we're in the trouble again because we're gonna need uh, repeaters here on one tick so the sand doesn't get stuck. We need what's it up here. After that, we're gonna need to do the exact same here with this. So that means that we're gonna have something like this. And if it goes too fast, you can slow down the video here, but something like that, and then just slab it up. And I do a full box right there, just so it's easier to skim in. I know I didn't do it on my autos here, but this is kind of how you do it, if you wanna, if you wanna have a nice one. But uh, now that is wired up. This one is wired up, and uh, the pistons here is wired up. So now we need to whetstone it, and it can get quite difficult. Um, First, we have to start up. Whenever you press the button, you want all the, the sand here to fall. And uh, we had, it seems like we have a little bit of space here, so why don't we just take advantage of that and go ahead and make a platform like this. Uh, we can even go one in, just to compress it a little bit here. Uh, there we go. Just fill that in. And then we can connect these two right here. There you go. And of course, they can't go on on the same time, because as this pushes in, the next sand can't get pushed in as well, so like two blocks can't go interfere with each other. So uh, let's go ahead and put four repeaters here to start with, see if that is enough. We can always edit it. Um, uh, let's do it like this actually, just to remove one right there. Just so we have a... Oh, there you go. And now let's throw down our glowstone here. And... Uh, Let's get this wire down, and it doesn't really need to be beautiful redstone at all here to start with, because you just, it doesn't really have the cannon yet and stuff like that. And you can, I kind of like doing the redstone out in line, so you can easily just attach it to your cannon. Um, but it's up to you. But uh, let's just go ahead and wire this one up. Like, oh, we need maybe one more down here. There we go. Now we need this one here. It can get ignited like this. So let's just go ahead. Oh, that might be a bit too close. There we go. Is that too far away? Oh, I can do one line. Let's do that. There you go. All right, and now we can wet stand that wet stone that up as well. 
and then we have two right there and then we can go ahead and put this one as well and then we have to write some for that and now we have kind of extended all the whetstone so we have whetstone right there there and there so let's do our button um, we're gonna have a button right here and this is kind of where everything goes into into this cannon here so we need first of all we need this here ignited so let's do it like that then we're gonna need this one ignited as well so let's do that like this and then we need this one here ignited as well but we can do that like this or we can even go like oops we can go like this all right so now that we've done this actually uh, I don't want it right there because then we can't really um, do I? No, it doesn't really matter. Let's just do it like that. Alright, so whenever we press the button, we want this one here to pulse out a lot of pulses so we actually be able to so we'll be able to like get this sound out real quick. So let's just do that and uh, first of all we're gonna need a repeater that is going like this and after that you can basically go ahead and do something like this that way it will extend it out and then put a repeater like oh that's not a repeater like this so whenever you fire it you're pressing 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 and there you go all right if that makes any sense um now that we've done that we can actually move this uh over here i'm pretty sure we want to move this just so we uh, can we do that uh no we can move it right here yeah, let's move that right there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yep, yeah, so we have a little bit of space for more repeaters if you want that. Um, let's put that up like this. Alright, and now we can actually go ahead and use these repeaters here. I don't know how many ticks it is, but let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight repeaters on four ticks. Um, I don't know, we might need a little bit less, but we'll see about that. Uh, the same with the TNT here, uh, but we will see how it goes. But basically, that's just about it, so let's just go ahead and slice X this up. There you go, let's go 20 up and let's set sand and let it fall a little bit and then we can go ahead and do there. Perfect. Now that is in the cobweb as well as this one but uh, I'm pretty sure we should be fine. So uh, let's see what's going on here. Oh there you go. Or not. Let's put a repeater right there. I heard the pistons go off, that's always a nice thing. Oh, okay, you see that? It kind of pressed over each other. That means that we're gonna need more of these. So let's do that. Oh, it looks like our pistons here are getting... Oh, we didn't use sticky pistons, that might be why. <laughs> oh, that's my bad, guys. Let's just go ahead and change this to sticky pistons so we can get them moving. I'm fucking up today, guys. Don't, don't worry about it. It's just me fucking. Uh, there we go. And now it's sticky pistons, and the one tick here should interrupt it from going all crazy. But let's go ahead, see if that should do it. Yeah. Well, only not really a lot of it got wet stoned up. Um, all right. Let's see here. Oh, we've got the wet stone. That's why. Uh, there you go. Again, I'm sorry for the background noise. Should, but we should be fine. All right. Yes, that's perfect. And now it goes in. And now it goes off. All right. Let's try and see what happens. Oh, it's still it's still stuck here. That's because there's no TNT. But we should be fine now. Let's just go ahead and press the button. See what happens. All right, perfect. But uh, let's do the let's do the TNT now. Um, 
we're gonna put forward PDC just so we can put some delay on it if we need that. But uh, let's try it out. Test one. And that want really really bad. Um, let's go ahead and put full forward PDC on. We can always change it a bit up, but you, again, you have to just play with the text here. That's kind of basic. Let's get all the sand gone here. Let's try and uh, pull this off. Yeah. See if we get enough pushes up. All right. Well, that did happen a little bit, but I want to make sure that. All right, it has to go off even later. I'm pretty sure. Or if this is not pushing it right, but. Let's try that. Give it one more fall. Uh, that was a disaster. Let's go ahead and take that off again. Uh, we might need a few more takes on this one. Uh, or a longer whetstone, but we'll see about that. But let me just get rid of all this. Right, there you go. A lot easier. Alright, so... Uh, let's see here. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Again, it's me fucking up. I'm sorry about that. Oh god. <sighs> I'm sorry about that, guys. Just copy this. There you go. That should be better. There. Alright, let's do the same on the other side. And that is just me fucking up once again. There you go. Alright, perfect. Let's just get that down. And uh, let's just stack up new sand here, actually. There. Now, that that is going to work a lot better now. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and see what actually I do. Let's just go like this and then go like that. There you go. See what happens. Okay. That was a disaster from another world. That's because we didn't do this. That is my bad, guys. There. There you go. Let's try again. Oh, that worked perfect. Alright, oh, okay, you saw that TNT was way too late, so let's go ahead and take off a full repeater and s let's see what happens here. There you go. Alright, it was still too late. So let's go ahead and take a full repeater off as well. And let's try again. Oh, that was perfect. Uh, I see a little bit of sand. Let's just try that one more time. We might need to do one or two ticks. Let's see. Let's see. Here. All right. Looks like some of the sand hit it right here. So let's try to add. Uh, there you go. There you go. All right. That didn't go as planned. Let's go ahead and add oh, add a text instead. Oh, that was even a more disaster. Oh god. Let's get rid of that tick again. There we go. Alright, well we do have two sand right here, still falling in the down stage. Um, try, remove one and add a repeater. See if that goes better. So if one more repeater to change, if then that is the case, no. Oh, there you go. Alright, let's try. Add a little bit more TNT to this bastard then. 
might help our issue. Um, and then of course we have to extend this one up. But well, that's not gonna be an issue. There you go. Did I fill it? Yes, I did. There you go. Let's see what happens. All right, one single sand is falling down here, which is pretty decent. Um, there we go. Oh, that's not a four block. That's a four block. There you go. TNT fill it again. All right, let's see if that helps. I think TNT might just be. A, be a better solution, um, but that is basically that's the one sand we're missing, and we can actually go ahead and see what else we can do here. Um, let's go like that; might help. But if it's like it's just about just try it out and see what see what's going on. Uh, there you go, that was a disaster. Let's not remove a tick, let's just add a tick, see what that see if that helps. Alright, that helped a lot more. And now we are actually able to go ahead and take some of the TNT off just to see if that will help the issue. I'm always doing that. Just I'm gonna go down to where it doesn't work and then add a little bit more. So let's go again. Perfect. Now try again. Perfect. Let's try again. Perfect. Let's try again. Perfect. Let's try again. That's not a lot of TNT. Uh, what? <laughs> no, no, no. Let, let's just do. Let's just do three here. It should be just fine. And we can add this. There you go. Now we can get rid of this. We are not using. Uh, there you go. All right, looks better that way. Yeah. Let's try one more time here. Right amount of sand in it as well. All right, I I am pretty sure this is decent. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Put a slab down here. And now let's count the amount of sand we can get out of this. Which probably should be 50 cent, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> 42 cent, that means that something is breaking. And that might be up here. Uh, let's go ahead. Nope, nothing is breaking. 42 cent. Um, some of it might actually get a despawn or whatever. <laughs> 42 cents still. Um. Oh, that's because we don't have... Oh, that's my bad. Let's actually try that one more time here. There we go. oops, there we go, let's stack that 20 up. Let's get rid of some of the entities down here. Uh, let's just do... There we go. There we go, alright, oh. Let's just add a slap right there. Now, the final test. Will this work? No, it will not because we don't have any wetstone here. That's what I mean. I'm fucking up all the time. 
And this is a kind of rust video because I'm really working on something else right now that um, you guys are gonna enjoy a lot. It's gonna be for my 2000 sub special. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's not a release of a cannon, it's uh, more of a graphic design for the channel here. I'm pretty sure no one has ever done in uh, in Minecraft, which is pretty cool. I paid someone to make me something, and I will probably surprise all of you, but um, let's just try. There you go. Oh, 50 sand, and we had a 50 sand stack compressor here, uh, and of course you're gonna need a little bit more sand than you are that you are gonna need uh, anything else. So if you wanna make a 50 stacker, you might wanna go up to 60. So that's just adding a little bit of more pistons here, and uh, we'll have ourselves a 60 stacker instead. And it is fairly simple to do. Right now we can actually just do like this, because this one is going to activate this one. And of course it's going to activate the next one as well. But um, I'm pretty sure that is just about it. So let's just add a little bit more here to this one. There you go. Alright. There we go. That is the very, very bad design of a sand compression. But I don't really want to give too much up. I want you guys to go ahead and experience how to do this. I do want to say it's going to go a lot faster with two pistons. Like this. It can go a lot faster. And uh, you don't really need to worry about the speed. You have to worry about how many times you can do this without fucking up. Without any sand getting stuck. And try to compress the sand. Uh, sorry, whetstone a lot more than I did. And... Um, I think that's just just about it. I'm gonna leave a schematic down below for this little sand compression here, so you guys have an idea of how to do it. But all in all, now I want you guys to make your first automatic sand compression. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to implement this to the cannon, and a few more things that I hope that you guys will enjoy just as much. But I'm gonna leave a schematic down for this, and. Uh, then go ahead and make your own sand compression and then take a picture of it or make a video about it and then drop it on down in the comments and I'll figure out uh, who will win and uh, I'm quickly gonna go ahead and pick up a winner from the comments and I will uh, tell you who it is. There was a lot of good cannons out there that you guys have made but I'm, I think Benjip303 is gonna be the winner here and there will be a uh, um, picture of the cannon up here in the corner here and I kind of like his design because he is kind of the new beginner here and he kind of taught I kind of taught him how to do it and then he kind of goes in and build everything out and he have to wet sand he have to normal sand he have to hammer and maybe it's not doesn't look like very compressed but it's still a very, very nice design and if you just you um, Use a little bit more time on the cannon. I'm pretty sure that 20 stacker can be, uh, be uh, a nice cannon. His own cannon, which is pretty cool. But uh, now I want you guys to go ahead and make your own sand, uh, auto sand compression. And I don't care if it's gonna go this way and this, this way. You can do whatever you want with this sand compression. And then I will pick a winner the next time we will uh, make this uh, make a new video. And um, of course you will get a shout out. Uh, but all in all, I think that's just about it for this video here. Uh, I do suggest you do one tick on these repeaters here, which is very, very important. Uh, and again, they can't go out on the same time. Uh, you can steal the ticks, what I did here, and maybe try something else. And I suggest you not go over a 100 stack of sand compression. So 120 sand it should be max, but I'm not really going to set a maximum. If you want to go 200 stack of sand compression, you can go ahead and do that. But it is kind of a challenge, but uh, it's up to you what you want to do. Two white pistons is definitely the best thing to do it goes out a lot faster but on all of mine I've just won since that is kind of the basic and that is where you guys will probably probably understand more of um, this right here is one that extends so that means that the whetstone uh, when you put our whetstone signal this one extends it so like it like goes out slow as you saw that is kind of to get more push it out or normally it's just five uh, I'm not sure I can do it, no, but normally it is just 5 and that's not really going to help you. Uh, so that's why you need that extended here. But I think that's just about it for this video here, guys. If you liked this video, like down below. 
And if you have any questions or something like that, suggestions, go ahead and write down in the comments. And as always, subscribe to my channel, and I am sorry about the background.